Dunster in North Somerset was mentioned in the Doomsday Book and the castle boasts spectacular views towards the Bristol Channel, the Quantock Hills and the Exmoor National Park. Dunster Village, which grew up around the castle, now has a current population of around a thousand and many visitors arrive here using the West Somerset Heritage Railway Line. The village became a noted centre for the wool and cloth trade and the highly unusual yarn market built in 1609 by George Luttrell is a relic of those times. Dunster is one of the most popular places on Exmoor for visitors, being a medieval village with an ancient castle, priory, dovecot, the yarn market, many inns, a packhorse bridge and a water mill. Since the decline of the woollen industry in the 18th century, the village has been locked in a time warp. Visitors to Dunster can discover how the castle was used in its heyday and how the family hosted grand occasions, from society balls to polo matches. A leisurely stroll can be taken through beautiful terraced gardens which have collections of palms, subtropical plants and the Dunster lemon tree. The castle that you see today became a lavish country home during the 19th century for the Luttrell family. George Luttrell inherited the dilapidated castle buildings in 1571 and hired William Arnold to transform them into a traditional Jacobean manor. Arnold was accused of slipshod work and of letting the cost of building spiral from £462 to over £1,200. For 600 years, 21 generations of the Luttrell family and their descendants lived at Dunster Castle and Charles II spent a night here when he was Prince of Wales. Superb craftsmanship is in evidence everywhere in the castle. The carved wood and the ceilings we see here are absolutely sensational. The castle boasts impressive interiors and lavish Victorian decoration. Many fascinating portraits hang on the walls of Dunster Castle, with some of the earliest dating from the late 1500s. In 1881, the living inn staff consisted of a butler, a housekeeper, two footmen, a groom, a hall boy, two ladies' maids, a housemaid and six other female servants. And Dunster had the first plumbed in bath in Somerset. Dunster Castle was gifted to the National Trust in 1976, and now hundreds of visitors each year make a pilgrimage to admire the imposing structure and its splendid contents. Although it is owned by the National Trust, Dunster Water Mill is leased to a private company to run as a tourist attraction. The mill is visited by around 10,000 tourists a year and produces 6 to 8 tonnes of flour annually, along with its own popular brand of muesli. Situated in the sweeping hills of Exmoor National Park, Dunster provides the ideal base for a holiday in the southwest of England. With over 200 listed buildings, Dunster is preserved so that generations to come can enjoy the historic qualities of this unique village. <laughs>